Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Uh, we're going to look at an eraser, a pencil eraser. And gosh, I love the school supply, office supply section in the dollar stores, uh, particularly my local Dollar Tree store. Um, well, first of all, everything's a dollar, so there's that. Uh, but the other thing is, is you never know what you're going to find there. And uh, they're always getting in new and different things. So I saw this retractable eraser uh, when I was there a little while ago. And it intrigued me because, well, we love pencils, we love erasers. And the beauty of a pencil is that it can be erased. And when I was a kid, my favorite eraser was one that was made, it was a pink pearl actually, but it was in a, um, a pencil uh, form. Uh, and it, you know, it was, it was a wrapped uh, eraser, had a little string and you would pull it and you'd, you'd keep unraveling um, and, and exposing the eraser as you needed it. And I just loved that because it was easy to hold and things like that. So I saw this and it, it sort of reminded me a little bit about that except in, in a new format. Um, and again, it was a dollar and, and not only did you get the, you know, the holder that retracts, uh, but you get two refills to put in there should, uh, once you use it up. So this is a, you know, a, a retractable eraser, two refills. Um, the back doesn't tell you much except that it's made in China. So... Um, I thought I would look forward to trying it. So I'm going to do that. So let's open this thing and get it out. And then another eraser that I have been using in my reviews lately that I've added to my eraser box is this Japanese eraser, this Arch foam eraser. And a lot of companies are making um, foam erasers now and uh, the foam eraser has a lot of basically bubbles or air pockets in it um, and these do a wonderful job erasing pe most pencil I have found so far. So this to me uh, and of course this is a more expensive eraser not that it's you know it's an eraser it's not crazy expensive, but one of these might cost almost, you know, two dollars for just this one. And here you've got this and plus the refill. So um, here's the one of the refills and you can see it's got the little notch at the end which holds it into this. And so look at that. There you go. We just keep sliding it down. Uh, and and these, these holders were available in different colors. And so I just happened to pick blue. So, okay. So now we've got that. So now how does it work against pencil? Well, I have some common pencils here. Uh, most of these are number two HBs. Some of them are, who knows? I don't know what a Tennessee Red is, really. It feels softer to me than a number two. And Musgrave doesn't say. I've got a Blackwing 602. Yeah, I don't know. Is that really a number two HB? I think that's not. Um, uh, not a Raj 621. Not sure what that is. Uh, but the rest of them are pretty uh, are identified as 2HB. So what I want to do is I want to start with our Dollar Tree Dollar Retractable Eraser here because uh, I just really want to try that. And you know, there's um, 
there's something fun about getting uh, finding something inexpensive like this and and being able to use it if it's good. It's only a, it's only a, a good deal if it's good. If it's not good, then it's a dollar kind of that wasted. I could have could have bought a Snickers bar instead, but I um, um, am anxious to see how this eraser performs across these pencils. So we'll go down the line and try it. And then, for comparison's sake, I'll try the Japanese foam eraser. So let's, let's, let's try this one first. Semi-hex. Musgrave Cirrus. You know what it's doing? Okay, so far. Norica. Not a Raj, 621. Um, Blackwing, 601. A Tri Rex. Tennessee Red. All right, I'm going to click this down a little bit. Uh, Musgrave Green Belt, a Pen and Gear, uh, USA the Titanium, USA Gold, a Murado. Ticonderoga. Okay. Well, better on some than others, I think. Uh, but overall, I would say, you know, an oh, decent job. Um, let's see. I think that where, where it seemed to have uh, the harder time where we have more shadowing is here on the Tennessee Red and maybe the USA Titanium. Uh, but it did real well on the semi-hex, on the tri-rex, um, on the norica, so yeah, all right. So, cheap eraser, you know, I think it gets a, a B uh, in terms of performance grade. Now, more expensive eraser. Uh, Let's let's go down the line and see how we do here. Semi hex, Musgrave Cirrus, Norica, Nataraj six two one, Blackwing six zero one. I'll say they both make about the same amount of crumbs. The foam eraser may be even a little bit more, but that's expected because of how it's made. A uh, Tri-Rex, Tennessee Red, Greenbelt, Pen and Gear, USA, USA Titanium, USA Gold, Murado, and Ticonderoga. Okay. Well, so how did the Arch Foam Eraser compare? I think if we look down the line here. Um, I'm going to see if I can even raise this up a little bit. I want you to really be able to see the differences. I think you see a better job in the Blackwing 601. I think you definitely see a better job in the Tennessee Red. 
I think you'll see a better job with the arch and the titanium. A lot of the other ones are similar in terms of their erasing. It may outperform, the, the arch may outperform a little bit on the Ticonderoga as well. So, a tale of two erasers. Uh, I would say in this case, the, um, the foam eraser uh, outperformed um, the Jot Dollar Store eraser in a number of pencils. Uh, however, in some, they were head to head about the same in terms of performance wise. So uh, I guess the moral of the story here is, is that sometimes um, cheaper can be as good, uh, but sometimes the more expensive ones prove to be better. The other thing let's remember is these are two different eraser technologies. So, you know, maybe my comparison wasn't as fair as it should have been uh, because I'm not quite sure what this is made out of. Um, uh, some kind of uh, vinyl, plastic, um, rubber uh, substance, and this is a foam. But uh, anyways, we love our erasers, and I will get use out of this Jot eraser. I do like the fact that you can hold it like a writing instrument and erase. I like that very much uh, compared to this one, which is a you know standard little block eraser. So anyways, thanks for watching. And if you like what I do here, please share and like and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon on Always Analog.